The Boeing XB-15, dubbed the Sky Leviathan, emerged from military doctrine rooted in the 1823 Monroe Doctrine and William Billy Mitchell's 1925 advocacy for long-range bombers. Early attempts like the six-engine Whitman Lewis NBL-1 Barling Bomber of 1923 failed spectacularly, unable to reach design speeds or clear the Appalachian Mountains. Following the 1931 MacArthur-Pratt Agreement assigning coastal defense to the Army, Wright Field developed Project A in 1933, a bomber carrying 900 kilograms of bombs over 8,000 kilometers at 320 kilometers per hour. Boeing's Type 294 defeated Martin's Type 145A design, winning the June 29, 1935 contract for prototype construction designated XBLR-1, later XB-15. The massive aircraft featured a 45.41-meter wingspan and 258-square-meter wing area. Due to unavailable Allison engines, four 850-horsepower Pratt & Whitney RE-9311 engines were installed. Revolutionary crew accommodations included pressurized compartments, crew quarters with bunks, a galley with appliances powered by gasoline engines, and in-wing walkways for engine access during flight. Armament comprised six turrets with three 7.62mm and three 12.7mm machine guns, plus 7,200 rounds. The spherical nose turret prefigured the B-7G's chin turret. Three bomb bays accommodated various combinations from 45 kilograms to 907 kilograms bombs. After 670,000 construction man-hours, first flight occurred October 15, 1937, with Edmund Eddie Allen and Major John Corkill. Testing revealed severe handling issues, locked elevator controls at medium speeds, ineffective ailerons, sudden stalls with flaps, and uncontrollable roll tendencies beyond five-degree banks. Curtis LeMay called it very green. The XB-15 served Roosevelt's good neighbor policy through dramatic missions. Following Chile's January 24, 1939 earthquake killing 30,000 people, Major Caleb V. Haynes led a mercy flight carrying 1,470 kilograms of medical supplies. The 7,937-kilometer Santiago journey took 49 hours, 18 minutes total, with high temperatures and low-octane fuel initially preventing takeoff until evening cooling. In June 1939, transporting Mexican pilot Francisco Sarabia's body after his GB crash sparked anti-American demonstrations. The crew received an ocelot named Tequila as diplomatic gift, which escaped during takeoff, creating airborne chaos. According to LeMay, Tequila later terrorized all the base dogs at Langley Field. July 30, 1939, XB-15 set payload altitude records carrying 14,117 kilograms to 2,000 meters and 9,986 kilograms to 2,500 meters, beating Soviet records. August 1, closed course speed record covering 5,000 kilometers with a 2,000 kilogram payload in 18 hours 40 minutes at 267.61 kilometers per hour average with fuel for another 1,000 kilometers. In 1940, Panama Canal defense tests, only three of 150 M33 500 kilogram bombs hit a 15 by 12 meter target replica failing to penetrate 75 millimeter armor but denting it 12 centimeters. May 9, 1940, secret Galapagos reconnaissance mission photographed islands for topographic mapping, enabling later Baltra airstrip construction. Redesignated XC-105 on May 6, 1943, Grand Pappy transported 5,530 passengers, 22.6 tons mail, and 45.3 tons cargo over 19 months between Panama, Florida, and Galapagos. Increasing mechanical problems led to February 23, 1945 retirement and December scrapping in Diablo Swamp. The XB-15 never met design goals due to insufficient power and excessive fuel consumption, achieving only 5,600-kilometer range with bombs at speeds barely 10 kilometers per hour faster than the smaller B-9. Boeing's subsequent Type 316 Y-1B-20 design philosophy contributed to B-29 Superfortress development. Despite limitations, the Sky Leviathan pioneered strategic bomber concepts and served as technological stepping stone, demonstrating American industrial capability while advancing features that influenced an entire generation of strategic bombers.